Hi, I'm Joey Arcaro. And I'm Savannah Ridgely. And welcome to Season 3's final show. In today's episode, we have a thought-provoking look into the new transgender bathroom law. Our very own James Lawrence with some challenging Christmas trivia. And some highlights from last week's football game. And a few more fun-filled surprises. Delaware is one of the many schools affected by the new transgender bathroom law. Huffington Post has called it one of the most controversial laws that California has passed this year. Our reporter Jordan Carlson will give us a look at this complex issue. Beginning January 1st, 2014, transgender students can, by law, go in the bathroom they feel they belong in. According to multiple studies, only about five or six students at Del Oro are transgender. We talked to some students and teachers about how they feel. When the, the law was passed and I was out of the country, but my mom emailed me about it, and it was really cool because I was following it just to see where I was going to go. Delora will be working hard over the next few months to make sure all students feel comfortable with this law. Thanks, guys. Well, this is it. Wait, what? The final Joey vs. Eagle episode. Wow, that was inspiring. Gonna miss that Joey guy. I'm not. <laughs> With the fall season coming to an end, our sports team is recapping this season in sports, as well as reporting on last week's football game against the amazing team from Sarah. Let's see what they have to say. With this being our last episode, we would like to take time to recap all this year's fall sports. Let's get into it. First off, our girls varsity tennis team served up a perfect league season, getting them a section championship. We caught up with varsity tennis coach Mrs. Isaac to hear about the season.
Way to go, girls. Another congratulations to Abby Backrack for winning 21st in the state. Congrats, Abby. Also, our boys' water polo team finished the season going 4-2 in league. The Dell Cross Country team finished up their season second in sections, and the boys ranking 13th in the state and girls 14th in the state. Varsity soccer also took down Rockland during rivalry week, as well as a number of other tough teams. As everybody knows, our boys' varsity team, football team killed it all year, winning section championships and playing in state championships this Friday against Bakersfield. Here's a little recap of the past season. In the CIF Northern California Regional Championship, Doha played Sarah, creating a dogfight of a game. To start off the quarter, running back Dylan Kanerath scored a 26-yard touchdown, breaking four tackles, putting Delaware ahead 7-0 with eight and a half minutes left. But Sarah came back when QB Matthew Faaita took a quarterback keeper 10 yards to the touchdown, ending the quarter 7-7. That brings us to the second quarter, when Dylan Kainrath came through once again with a 77-yard run, setting up tight end Tyler Matier with a 22-yard touchdown, catching it over the defender. But soon thereafter, Sarah's sophomore running back, Kalepi Laatai Mua, came with a touchdown off a reverse, tying the game 14-14. But in the last three seconds, quarterback Michael Moore threw a cross-field pass to receiver Theron Hereford, putting the Eagles up 21-14 at the end of the half. After the half, Sarah was forced to punt the ball at their own six-yard line. That's when sophomore Trey Dofia took it all the way back, making the score 28-14. But Sarah came back with two field goals, the first eight yards away and the second 18. That brings us to the fourth quarter. Although there was no scoring, it seemed to be an endless battle. After the game, we caught up with Steve Birch and Dylan Kainroth to talk about their great win. You know, we, we felt good coming to the game. You know, it's, it's tough when you're playing a team that, you know, you don't know much about. They're in another section, so, you know, going in, you know how good they were. And, you know, they were a great team. And we just played really, really hard tonight. Our guys made plays when it counted. And uh, we came away with victory. Uh, I feel amazing, you know. Uh, we get to go to state. Anyone uh, should want to be doing that. And uh, it's finally here, my senior year. It's just great for all the seniors and all the whole team. We also caught up with black hole leader Isaac Jorgensen to talk about next week's state game. The game's on Friday down in L.A. We need you there. Failure comes in many shapes and colors, but there are two colors that doesn't come in, and those colors are black and gold. We're not going to change that this weekend. See you at State! So everybody, be sure to catch up with your favorite football player and tell them good luck before they leave tomorrow. This will be the seniors' very last high school football game, so we need the biggest black hole Delaware's ever seen to cheer on our boys. Well, as the end of the semester winds down, we'd like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, and we hope you enjoyed this season of Salt and Pepper Sports. I'm Alden Volle. And I'm Dana Matthews. Incredible season, guys. It's not over yet. This week, we are heading to state, and a few local businesses have offered to donate a portion of their proceeds to help pay for the transportation of our own Del Oro Band and Cheer Squad. So that means today, you need to head down to the yogurt shop after school and buy as much yogurt as you can possibly eat. And how long has it been since you've eaten five large pizzas? Well, attempt it tomorrow at the pizza factory between the hours of 5 to 9 o'clock. That's right. Today, the yogurt shop is donating a portion of their sales to support DO. And tomorrow, it's the pizza factory. So make sure to make your way to these businesses and show your support. We've also received a very special present for one of our viewers, Rose Nelson. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Chaplain Des Nelson, forward deployed to Afghanistan, uh, and I am Rose Nelson's father, and I just want to say, hi Rose, Merry Christmas, I hope you have a Happy New Year, I miss you very much, and I can't wait, can't wait to get home to see you, have a great day, I love you, bye-bye. Finally, our news team for Season 3 would like to say our final goodbyes. Goodbye, Del Oro. And, and you say Golden Eagles!